Now let's see the program explanation of distance vector routing. So this is our distance vector routing program. program. So how you have to type is as explained in the first video you have to go to file you have to go to new and you have to create the source file and save this file in any of the path by using a .c extension. Now let's understand the line by line explanation of the program that is a distance vector routing. So first is uh, ash include stdio.h ash include stdio.h it indicates and it is a header file which includes the standard input and output files which is used in order to type the printf and scanf functions next is struct node here we are defining the structure so struct it is a keyword in order to define the structure and node is a variable here the node is defined in the form of a variable understand a structure it is a keyword a struct is a keyword that is used and structure it is defined as an an array collection of different data types so now what is this data type we have a different data types right integer float character string so all these are the different data types if we use a structure the structure consists of an array of different data types an array collection of different data types it is known as your structure now struct is a keyword that is used to define so you have defined the variables that is dist and from of an array location that is 20 it starts from 0th memory location and up to 19th memory location and it is defined in the form of an unsigned variable rt it is defined here see understand the struct node it consists of an uh, two unsigned variables unsigned variables in the sense that is default is the plus sign so rt it is of our 10 memory location it is saved it starts from 0 now int main so always we know that a C pro in C programming the execution it starts from the main function so it is going to start from here that is int main if it is a wired main it is going to return a zero value since it is int of main it is going to return some integer value now we are going to declare the variables that is a D mat it is nothing but a distance matrix so you can use an any of the variable name so here we have declared a two dimensional array so here the first array it indicates the row and the second array it indicates here the column so here dmat it is a variable which defines an a matrix and it is of an integer type we are declaring the variables that is n i j k count equal to zero now printf it uh, prints the number of nodes enter the number of nodes here it is going to print it on the console now if we see the output So you can see here so enter the number of nodes so enter the number of nodes how many nodes we have entered we have four nodes we have entered so this is going to be displayed now scanf four it is saved and kept in a variable that is n now enter the cost matrix 999 if there is no link now you have to enter the cost matrix so this is our cost matrix so this is our cost matrix you can see here when you have a direct that is 0 to Z, uh, a to a or 1 to 1 it is taken to be as a 0 and when you ho don't have a direct link then it is marked as 999 in the previous video the diagram of these values it has been shown so well understanding this you can go back and refer to that video so 999 we are going to put it when we don't have the direct path so this is our matrix so here the d this is called as a dmat matrix and it is called as a cost matrix it is saved and kept in a dmat variable so where it consists of one array it is of an row and the other array it is of a columns so here you can see that enter the cost matrix it will be printed after that you are going to consider the for loop now how you have taken the two for loops 
how this for loop is going to work it that is for i equal to 0 i that is 0 less than n what is the value of n n value is 4 so now 0 is less than 4 the condition is true it is going to enter into the next for loop that is j equal to 0 j less than again 4 means 0 less than 4 condition is true and then this complete loop will be executed for loop will be this complete for loop is going to be executed this complete for loop it is going to be executed now scanf so you are going to fetch it so i value it is going to be 0 next j value it is going to be incremented every time now so that is shown here so you can see so observe here i value is 0 0 is less than 4 the condition is true now j is 0 0 is less than 4 condition is true now you are going to consider that is you are going to consider where you are going to save it it is saved in a dmat variable that is in a scanf statement you are going to fetch whatever the inputs that you are going to give it on the console so dmat it is an 0 and j value it is 1 so it is 0 1 means 0th row first 0th row 0th column because j value is also 0 now so 0th row 0th column so 0th row 0th column we know that one same node to the the same node or you can say that this is node 1 node 2 node 3 node 4 as explained in the previous video it is going to be 0 next next line you have here is dmat of i of i means what when it is moving from node 1 to node 1 itself or node a to node a itself then at, at that time it is going to be marked as 0 next rt of i rt rt is a variable i value is 0 dot it is a pointer vector so i is 0 distance of j value it is also 0 so whatever the value of a dmat that is a 0 it is going to be saved in rt dot dist and the j value it is going to be saved in rt of i this loop is going to be repeated so you can see here so this is j value next you have j value is 1 okay means 0 at row first column so understand it is going to be 0 at row first column the same way i value is 0 j value will become 2 next i value is 0 j value will become 3 at that time it will come out of the loop and then i value is going to be incremented to 1 so now this is a nested for loop so that's why i was 0 and this everything up to 4 times the loop is repeated when it comes out of the loop again i value it is incremented to 1 again this starts from 0 to 4 and again i is incremented to 2 and this is executed i is incremented to 3 so like this we are going to have the i indicates the number of rows and j indicates the number of columns and correspondingly the data value it has been fetched and saved in the matrix that is dmat so that you can see here in each step in each step i have marked it j value is 2 j value is 3 next is j value is 4 it is going to come out of the loop then i is going to be incremented so 1 is less than 4 then j it is going to take it from 0 so like this every time this rt dot dist value rt dot from value it is going to be saved and kept so it is used for the further steps so like this every time i and j is incremented and finally you are going to fetch this complete matrix here i indicates the number of rows and j indicates the number of columns so correspondingly the two dimensional array matrix it is going to be fetched next we are going to execute the do while loop so let's see what is that do while loop is so now you can see here so we know that how a do while loop is going to execute is first it is going to execute the do condition do statements everything it is going to execute line by line after that it is going to check the condition now in a do while loop the count it is initially initialized to zero now again we have considered here the three for loops how this is going to work it it is going to work in a nested way like 
i is equals to 0 initially next j is equals to 0 next k is equals to 0 next k 0 less than 4 n value is 4 it is a number of nodes we have taken 4 so n is 4 so 0 is less than 4 condition is true then if this condition is true this statements will be executed if this condition is not true then this statements is not executed now k value is 1 next k value is 2 next k value is 3 k value is 4 then it will come out of the loop and increment j value so j will be 1 now and i will be 0 as usual so step by step one by one for loop it is going to be executed here now correspondingly you are going to get here rt of 0 rt of 0 value initially now you can see here now whatever the value that you have gained here it is going to be utilized here so just put whatever the values you are going to get from here you have to put it here and check this condition if this condition is true then the statements are to be executed if this statements is not if condition is not true then it will come out of the loop and just increment the k value when k it is completed the for loop that is when it reaches 4 is less than 4 then it will come out of the loop and increment the j value so when j loop is completed totally that is when j has reached 4 less than 4 then again it will come out of the loop and increment the i value and take j and k again from 0 so this loop is continued every time and we are going to get the new values of rt of i dot from of j and rt of i dot dist of j so the new values or you can say that here we are going to get the shortest distance values so that we are going to substitute in an while condition fine so this values you from where i have got this values i have got this values from here so i am going to save my dmat or the matrix values here and correspondingly the addition it has been performed in order to find out the shortest distance and count is incremented every time finally when all the three for loops are executed count has would have reached to some value but obviously it will be not equal to zero only why because the count is incremented every time and then the for loop of i and for loop of j and for loop of k it is being considered so obviously the count value it is not equal to zero now count value when the count value is not equal to zero so for loop is being executed again that is i equal to zero zero less than four condition is true it is going to print the state value of router zero plus one that is one means this it is going to display like this state value that is state value for router one is so it is going to display the same way it is incremented and state value of router 2 state value of router 3 so it is going to display like this now after that j j it is equals to 0 0 is less than 4 then node via this node it is going to take it from j plus 1 j plus 1 is nothing but it is 0 plus 1 the node value will be 1 next via it is from rt of i dot from of j plus 1 so that we have got it from the do conditions so that we are going to substitute here and rt of distance that also we are going to substitute so in this step we are going to find out the shortest distance and where we have substituted the values from this that is from rt of i dot from we have substituted to here rt of i dot dist of j we have substituted here whatever the values we have got we are going to utilize it and display here so after coming out of this loop that is j loop executing four times that is four is less than four condition is not true it will come out of the loop and increment the i value i value again it will be incremented to one so one plus one it will be a state value of two same way it will be doing up to state value of three and finally when it is four four less than four condition is false it will finally come out of this for loop two for loops and it will print as per the new line character so all these it will be printed line by line and finally we are going to end the main function so this is so this 
flower bracket it is to end our main function so this is our distance vector routing so you whatever the matrix you are going to take here so whatever the matrix understand So whatever the matrix you are going to take it here that is D mat. So depending on that you are going to substitute the values here. So the same values it is going to be utilized in while condition and it will be displayed. So this is about the program distance vector routing.